DTN. This is Operation Football. Hello and welcome to week three of Operation Football. Coming up on tonight's show, a huge battle in the MAC between perennial state powers Coldwater and Marion Local. Plus, Alter at Xenia, Piqua at Franklin, and our band and cheerleaders of the week. Jack, we begin the night with a neighboring rivalry. 2 0 Dixie made the short trip up the road to Brookville to take on the Blue Devils, a team that was looking to bounce back after its first regular season loss since 2014. It's our Operation Football Premier Health Sports Medicine Game of the Week. Jake Ryle has the story. Well, Brookville High's last loss came on October 17th, 2014. 686 days later was their last regular season lost. Came last week. Now they have an opportunity to do something they haven't had to worry about for quite some time. Start a new winning streak. Before the game, a ceremony honoring first responders. In attendance, Brookville Police and Fire and EMT, New Lebanon Police, Fire and EMT, along with Clay Township and Perry Township Police. Sunday marks the 15th anniversary of 9-11, a moment of silence, and vets raise the flag. It's appropriate the two teams' colors combine to make red, white, and blue. To the game, Bailey Wallen might be the most interesting man in the world. He sees a wall and the wall moves for him. Wallen, 7 nothing, Blue Devils. Ensuing drive, Devin Worley drops back to pass. Check out the slow motion on this one. I'll have what he's having. That's Hayden Sherritt with an INT. But on the following play, Carter Pickens rolls out to Tyler Scherer. The first down and more, but Clayton Washington doesn't give up. Strips the ball and another number 32, Dakota Grice, handles it. Greyhounds have to love the dogs. They certainly love my camera. To the second quarter, Bailey Wallen. He has a Disney movie named after him. Wall E or, well, Wall N. High stepping his way to touchdown number two. Back in the stands, Caitlin, you have to say yes to this guy. Gotta love the spirit. Brookville up 20 nil at half, and Wallen, you know the drill. Well, why not let's sing a 1960s Fig Newton commercial? It's chewy, ooey, gooey on the inside, and it's suddenly 28 to nil. Wallen surpassed the 2000 career rushing yard mark as a Blue Devil. Now for a run that's as hot as Hades. Barry goes from zero to hero, just like Hercules. Watch this run, cutting up and down, left and right. The blockers, I did the math for you so you don't have to worry. It took seven Dixie tacklers to be able to get Barry out of bounds. He finishes the job two plays later. Brookville rolls 42 to 7. Now onto the score. All right, thanks, Jake. It was Brookville over Dixie. 42-7. Our thanks to our good friend Mike Lindsay, the athletic director, and all the great folks at Brookville for hosting us tonight. Be sure to join us next Friday for our premier health sports medicine game of the week. We'll be at Miamisburg for the Vikings and Wayne Warriors.